Let me see Prada smoke. You know, I think my proudest moment was when I got a job at CBS. I had always wanted to work at CBS. Walter Cronkite was my hero uh, when I was a young reporter. And uh, I've always, the happiest days of my life have always been when somebody hired me. Yes. I think that is the greatest thrill you can have. Like, when I, when I first got my first job in journalism at a little radio station when I was a sophomore in college, and then when I got hired uh, as a reporter at the Fort Worth Star-Telegram, that, that was a happy moment. But the happiest of all was when I got uh, hired at uh, CBS. That is a dream job. It was. It was my dream job. Now, I have to tell you, I was, I was uh, none of that uh, made me as happy as when I got married or when I had two daughters, yes. or my granddaughters. But those were, but other than those times, uh, getting hired at CBS was the happiest moment. Yeah. And what was the most challenging part of your job, and what was the most rewarding part? Well, uh, the most challenging part was uh, I had to work a lot. Yes. You know, I, I, uh, I always tell people if they're thinking about being a reporter, uh, it, you can, there's nothing you can do uh, that's more fun because it's really fun, you know, to go behind the police lines wherever people, other people can't go, to get to talk to people uh, who uh, are making the news. I mean, you don't have to find out from somebody else. You can find out from them, and, and that's, that's, really, uh, that's really a lot of fun. But the other part is the hours are long. Uh, the pay is not very much in the beginning, and in the beginning especially, you have to work a lot on Christmas. You know, everybody else has family holidays and stuff, and that's generally when you have to work. Yes. And so that part can be uh, can be very challenging. I agree with you. Yeah. Yes. Um, what are three things you can't live without? Oh my goodness. Uh, reading the newspaper. Yes. Watching the news. Uh, Reading your own articles? Well, that's part of it, but I, I'll tell you something. That's that's a lot of fun. Yes. I always remember when I really decided I wanted to be a reporter. I was in junior high school, and I wrote a story for the school newspaper. And seeing my byline up on top of that story, it was the first time I'd ever seen it in, in bold-faced type. And I decided right then, I said, you know, this is really neat. I think I want to see that again, and I think uh, I think that was one of the most fun things. Was was that? Yes. Mm -hmm. And did you interview Ronald Reagan? Did I what? Did you interview Ronald Reagan? Yes, I did. I, I've interviewed all the presidents since Richard Nixon. Well, that's a lot of presidents. That's a lot of presidents, <laughs> and and I've also, I think, I've interviewed all the people who ran against him, them when they were, you know, during the elections. You know, I've, I interviewed the guy who won and, and, and also yes. the ones who, who lost. Yes. And that's one of the best parts of the job, you know, is who else gets to go around and talk to the president? But yes. reporters get to do that, you know, and that's really fun. Yes. I read a book called Who is Ronald Reagan, and it said that he eats jelly beans when someone's talking too much. He did. Yes. He did. And he would always offer the reporters jelly beans. Yes. And uh, reporters have to be careful, you know, because like me, I don't want to gain weight. They have a lot of sugar in them, but you have to be <laughs> polite. You can't turn them down. But uh, he was very genial. He was a very nice, very nice person, personally. I will tell you, my favorite president from a personal uh, point of view, and I didn't agree with him on, on some things and some things I did, but personally, was President Ford. Yes. He was a very, very nice man. And uh, we loved covering him as reporters. He was always very nice to us, like on uh, Christmas Eve or uh, uh, holidays. He would always make sure he wasn't doing anything that we would have to work. And uh, you know, he would stay with his family and say, there's not going to be any news. Nothing's going to go on here. And, and uh, we all appreciated that. But he, he was just such a nice man. He loved to tell jokes. And uh, he, uh, 
he's the only president I've ever known that we, we actually would tease him sometimes. Yes. Yeah, and, and he'd get a kick out of it. Yes. Uh -huh. What is something hardly anyone knows about you? That I always wear purple socks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I went to uh, TCU, and their their colors are purple and white. Oh. And so we were, went to the Rose Bowl uh, about it's been about four years ago now. And I got up at this pep rally, and I said, uh, somebody said, "What do you? What will you do if we win?" And I said. I thought, and I said, you know what I will do? If you guys win, I will wear purple socks for the rest of my life. Well, I didn't know they were going to win. Yes. <laughs> they won. Yes. <laughs> so I'm a man of my word. Yes. I always wear purple socks. And I always finish my interviews with asking the question, what is your favorite meal dessert? What is my favorite meal dessert? Yes. It's, it's a number of things that I can't eat anymore. Oh. You know, uh, I always loved... Uh, I always loved my mother made these great uh, chocolate chip cookies, and I always, I always loved those. And but you know, I, uh, I now, um, I, I, I have diabetes. I'm diabetic, and so I can't eat sugar. So I, I don't get to eat dessert anymore. But those were my favorite, and I have fond memories. They sound great. <laughs> they were. And thank you so much for this interview, Mr. Schieffer. Well, thank you. It was I'll, a very professional job. Thank you. And I'll be seeing you in 10 years at Harvard. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know you'll be here, and I hope I'll still be here. But. I think you will. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.